In this video, we will explore additional load wizards that you can use to generate snow and wind loads. Let's begin with snow loads and open the respective load wizard from the data navigator by double clicking here. In the new dialog box, we start by selecting the duo pitch roof type. You can enter the roof corner nodes manually in the field below or alternatively click the respective symbol in the graphic. A new feature in RFM6 allows you to exclude individual roof surfaces from the loading in this dialog box. In the Parameters tab, this is where we can enter the model parameters such as the location, load zone, and so on. With this button, we can enter this location automatically by entering in an address in our GeoZone tool. These perimeters can also be changed later using the same button. The next tab shows the number of load cases required for this wizard. This tab includes all load cases that have already been created and assigned to this action category. In this case, it's the snow load case that we created before. And by clicking the button in the lower left hand corner, RFM can generate the remaining load cases automatically. You can confirm this entry by clicking OK. And now we can see the generated loads on the roof of the seal hall. The automatically generated load cases can be found in the list above. Now let's apply the same principle to the wind loads. We open the load wizard again, this time for the wind loads. Similarly, we select the duo pitch roof type, and just like with the snow loads, click on the nodes of the roof. To reduce the number of load cases and load combinations, we can deactivate the opposite directions of the wind load in the main tab. The properties of this load case can be found in the parameters tab. Here we can use the GeoZone tool again to enter in the address slash location of the building site. Here we also need to specify the structure height. Otherwise, no wind load case can be generated. In the load cases tab, we must create two new load cases since the first two were automatically recognized by RFM and inserted here. However, we will use them for the lateral wind load in the next video. We can generate two new basic load cases by deactivating and reactivating the first two. Now, like the snow load wizard, we can generate all load cases with just one click. If we are satisfied with the properties and parameters that have been entered, we can from this dialog box, and now we can see the wind loads that have just been created on the structural analysis model. This way, we have easily and conveniently generated snow and wind loads using the load wizard. In the next video, we will dive into the load distribution. Until next time.